Got the crock pot out today. I'm going to show you how to make creamy cheeseburger soup. Oh my goodness, this soup is perfect for fall, for winter, for your holidays. Just throw it all into the crock pot and people can just serve themselves up with it. It's perfect for game day. This is perfect to sit right beside your appetizers. First thing we're going to do is start browning up our ground beef. Now I'm not going to be using my meat masher because I want kind of big pieces of ground beef in this recipe for our cheeseburger soup. So I've got two pounds of ground beef going in. I'm going to break it up. Now this was very fresh ground beef and then that was what I had in the freezer. So I'm just kind of putting them together. That's why they look different in color. Okay, I'm going to take a large yellow onion. We're going to take the ends off. I'm going to take that outer layer off. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to make big slices. And come around and then run our knife through them get nice chops because these will soften down as they cook and they'll also soften down more in the crock pot. I'm going to go ahead and add that to our ground beef. It's all about the flavor. All right, let's get that mixed in so we can start softening down. I'm going to add some salt and some black pepper. We're going to be seasoning as we go. Now as the ground beef is browning up, we're going to go ahead and take care of the vegetables. I've got three carrots, two celery stalks, a few garlic cloves, and some russet potatoes. I've got four russet potatoes. These are about small to medium. We're going to peel these. I'm going to wash off the potatoes and dice them up. I'm going to be using my handy dandy dicer. I'm just going to cut my potato into chunks. I'll just put it on there. Let it do the work. That way they're all uniform. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is grate some carrots. Yeah, we want them really small, so we're going to grate them. I'm just going to peel them. I always call this the fastest peeler in my kitchen. <laughs> just going to cut the ends off and I'll start shredding them. The carrots add a nice color to the dish, a little sweetness to the dish. And we're going to keep them small. That way they cook and get nice and tender. All right, I'm going to grab my celery that I've washed. So we're going to dice that really small. Now, so far we've done like a mirepoix onion, celery, and carrots. And then we've got the potatoes. That celery smells good. All the way to that flower part right there. Oh my goodness, it's gonna add such an aromatic to the dish. Three garlic cloves. I pull these off of a nice size bulb. So what I'm gonna do is just put my knife on it, smash it, each one. That'll help release the skin. Nothing like fresh garlic. All right, peel off that outer layer. All right, I'm just going to take a knife, rough chop through it. And then mince it up. There we go. All of our prep work is done. Let's go ahead and bring the crock pot over here and start putting it all together. So we're going to put our ground beef and onion into the bottom of the crock pot. 
Now I'm pulling it out of the pan with a slotted spatula. That way I can drain some of the grease out if there's any extra in there. Look at that. We're gonna add our potatoes. We're gonna add our carrots. Celery, minced garlic, we're going to add one 10 ounce can of cream of celery soup or you could even use cream of mushroom soup. All right, I'm going to wait for it to come out. There we go. We're going to add four cups of beef broth. Mm-hmm. Got to make it soupy. There we go. Quarter teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We're going to stir this all together. Wow, it already smells good. Can you imagine this slow cooking during the day? Yeah. Okay, now we have the good part of it. We're going to add the cheese. Now, I'm using Velveeta cheese. It's the block style cheese. We're going to be doing 16 ounces. We're just going to cut this into thin strips, lay it all over the soup. All right, we're going to place this on top of the soup. What this will do is melt really good so that we can stir it in later with one additional ingredient. We're going to place the lid on. We're going to cook this on high for two to three hours or you can cook it on low between four to six hours. You want the potatoes to be nice and tender. Now, along the way, you can check your liquid level and add more broth if you want to do that. You can add more water also if you want to thin out the flavor. I'll be back to show you how we're going to finish this off. We're going to take the lid off. Oh, look at that. That is so delicious. What we're going to do is go ahead and add half a cup of sour cream. We're going to blend this all together with the Velveeta cheese that melted into the soup. That sour cream will make it creamy and thicken it up just a little bit. Now, I think it took about another 30 to 45 minutes to get the potatoes to the consistency that I was looking for. Let's bowl this up. All right, look at that soup. It so looks delicious. That's a big bowl of comfort right there. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, very delicious. This soup is ready for fall, winter. You know, I'm telling you, build this up on game day. Oh, they'll come, they'll eat it all up, I'm sure. Who's making cheeseburger soup in the crock pot? Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.